I greet you, dear Earthlings. Once again, this is Aaron and I thank you for allowing me to share something with you today. We in the inner earth, we are with you. I say it again and again. It is very important to us that there is peace here with you, up here, one day. And until then, I would like to keep telling you something that will help you move forward. You are all ready. You have woken up. You see your light. And this light can become even greater. Your light is needed and we want to help you with that. It's always about your vibration. Your vibration, your frequency must become very high, but at your own pace. Be patient. And what I want to tell you today will take you further if it is right for you. Always feel inside yourself. Open your heart wide and feel whether what we are advising you to do is right for you. You must know that your planet is also our planet. What goes on up here also affects us. Yes, we notice when it's dark up here. Thousands of years ago, it was the same for us. And we also got help from other planets. Without them, we wouldn't have managed to ascend. Now we live in paradise. It's beautiful here. Our planet Earth is beautiful. And for Mother Earth to become completely healthy again, you, the upper Earth, we all have to help. You are all needed. And your frequency helps Mother Earth, helps everything that lives up here, all the plants, all the animals, all the crystals, everything. And that's why I want to tell you something very important today. Perhaps I'll expand a little. You have your physical body and you have your energy body. And your energy body is very important for your well-being, for your physical body. And you have chakras, just like Mother Earth has chakras. You are connected via the chakras. And you have meridians, energy pathways. And that's what we're talking about today. Mother Earth also has meridians, energy pathways. You call them ley lines. And these ley lines are also very, very important for you. They are located all over the planet and they give Mother Earth energy, just like the chakras. The meridians are wide. You can seek them out. Some of them intersect and where they intersect, the energy is a thousand times higher. They are places of power. And there are places of power all around you. Perhaps you can feel it when you are out in nature. You are becoming more and more sensitive and can feel it. And now I will tell you what will take you further. Connect with the meridians of Mother Earth via your meridians. You can do this in your thoughts. You don't have to know where these ley lines are. But if you're interested, then look them up. Seek them out. But at the moment that is difficult. So connect in your mind with the meridians of Mother Earth. The energy is very high. And through the connection that you then make, even more light will flow into you and wonderful things will happen. Gradually, more and more wisdom will come into you. 
because then you will be properly connected to the morphogenetic field, to the Akashic records of Mother Earth. And little by little, wisdom will come to you. And little by little, you will know what your calling is. You all have wonderful gifts, and everyone is incarnated here with a different wonderful gift. And you are all needed. Your light is needed so that the darkness that is on your planet at the moment can diminish. Your light will displace it. And that is why it is so important for us to support you and give you advice so that you become more and more light and your frequency continues to rise. Connect with the meridians of Mother Earth. Do this humbly, gently, and be patient. Take small steps. Meditate for a few minutes every day and imagine that you are connected. Your energy pathways with the energy pathways of Mother Earth. This is very important, very valuable, very powerful. You, dear Earthlings, save Mother Earth. Save yourselves. Stay in trust. Let your light shine. That's it for today. Thank you for allowing me to share this. See you soon.